Coach's Corner. My name is Peter O'Brien, and with me is Tony Pastine, owner of Spoke Folk Cyclery. And Tony's going to show us about touring bikes today. Tony, can you show us? Sure. Today we're looking at a touring bike, and a touring bike is designed to carry heavy loads over long distances and lots of different terrain. One thing you want to look for in a, mount, in a touring bike is a bike that has a strong wheel set and a little bit wider tires than a normal bike. This is going to provide strength so when you carry your loads and go over rough roads, these wheels are going to hold up well and these tires are going to provide the grip you need. The other thing that's very important when you're looking at a touring bike is what are called brazons. And what these are, are places where you can attach the racks and water bottles. This bike has three water bottle brazons, carry lots of water, which is important for longer endurance and touring. Brazons for the racks and also for fenders. You're going to want to get fenders on these touring bikes. The other thing about a touring bike is you're going to need a wide range of gears. This particular, mount, this particular touring bike has 27 gears, which can provide you the low gears for going up long, steep hills carrying heavy loads and coming back down those long steep hills. This Bianchi here sells for $850 and it's a great touring bike. Living here in Healdsburg, we are blessed with some great roads which to ride bicycles on. In particular, Dry Creek Valley is very pretty and scenic. West Dry Creek Road is a great road for riding a bike. It's a nice back road, not much traffic, and rolls along the vineyards and anybody can ride that. Another nice challenging ride is Alexander Valley. Um, again, through the vineyards, heading down towards Chalk Hill, maybe into Santa Rosa. We also have the Russian River area, which is a great place to ride down near Guerneville, through the Redwoods on a hot day, nice and cool down through there. And they're all easily accessible from downtown Healdsburg.